Alright, we're back for another booze review. Uh, this time, we have the best selling single malt whiskey in the world, Scotch whiskey. Uh, of course, from Scotland. This is Glen Fittich. Now, I know you might want to say Glen Fittich, but the ICH is actually um, a hard CH, as in like a uh, lock, like Loch Ness. So it's Glen Fittich or something close to that and this is their 12 year uh, age 12 years um, they also come in 15 18 21 and 30 year uh, versions and they've also had special rare 40 50 and even a 64 year version at one point uh, they come in green bottles and they traditionally come in these little um, tubes just to make it a bit more fancy I guess and um, one of the reasons that this holds about, I think it's what, 35% of the uh, market share for uh, single malt whiskey sales is their their booze is duty free. So, yeah, so uh, we're going to try this out. Uh, started in 1886, I think the first bottles came out in 1887. Uh, being a single malt whiskey, it's only made from one type of malted grain snow blending of different whiskeys together and they don't use different grains so and of course this is 40 proof 40 uh, percent alcohol so 80 proof so that's excellent we'll get right into it and see how it goes okay we're back with Glen Fittick the aroma right away uh, kind of a butterscotch color very light amber Sort of butterscotchy kind of color. Very smooth, very very smooth aroma. Starts off sort of um, sweet, sort of grapey kind of smell, and it moves over to a sort of a real candyish, sort of vanilla. And in between that, there's some sort of wood going on. Um, I'm not quite up there yet where I'm able to detect the different types of wood uh, used in any given whiskey. So I can't say specifically what it is. It's very nice. Very, very smooth. Almost... Um, Almost kind of liqueurish, so sweet. Very inviting. Uh, so we'll go right to the uh, taste. That's very, very sweet. Um, overly sweet for my taste. Right off the bat, I can tell you that. But it's very smooth, very, very smooth. Um, has sort of a sweet, grapey sort of taste. Um, moves over again to more dry woodiness and uh, vanilla in the finish. Just a hint. Um, kind of a little bit of peat, too, I think. Yeah. Not harsh at all going down. That's um, it's actually fairly well balanced. Just keep in mind that I am not a fan of overly sweet whiskeys, and this is a very sweet whiskey. Um, definitely not the sort of whiskey I enjoy personally. But I won't toss it out or anything. Um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, I'd definitely say try it out. Uh, it's a very, very smooth whiskey. It's probably if you're into if you're into sweet whiskeys, and this is a very popular whiskey. Uh, like I said, about I think 35% of the world's single malt sales. 
just not really up my alley. Um, but I can recognize uh, the craftsmanship uh, put into this. Nice bite at the end, but it's the start, uh, the beginning of this going down that uh, kills my interest in it. Uh, just the overly sweet uh, taste, but that's what some people want in their whiskeys, I guess. And if that's what you want, then this is probably one you want to check out if you haven't done so. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to go play with my dog. Very bad.